Gareth Southgate gives worrying Luke Shaw injury update before Manchester United run in. As Manchester United appoint designers behind Tottenham Stadium to create new 100,000-seater Old Trafford, England manager Gareth Southgate has revealed that Luke Shaw is unlikely to be available for the entirety of this summer's Euros after enduring an injury plague campaign. The Manchester United left-back has had a number of muscle injuries, including a serious hamstring issue, and has been limited to just 12 Premier League games this season. As a result, he has also missed the latest international break. Shaw is facing a race against time to return to action for United ahead of a crucial run-in. Even if he does return in time, Southgate believes his involvement with the England squad will be limited. He's going to be right on the edge of the season, the Three Lions boss said after the 1-0 defeat to Brazil on Saturday. We know now to play seven matches in a Euros is highly unlikely. Chelsea defender Ben Chilwell replaced Shaw but came in for criticism for his display against Brazil. I thought Ben defended really well and it was an important game for him, Southgate added. I don't want to kill Ben, but Luke's one of the best left-backs in world football, frankly. Another issue for Southgate is the midfield. He has been keen to use Liverpool right-back Trent Alexander-Arnold alongside Declan Rice. However, Alexander-Arnold was unavailable for the latest round of friendlies through injury, while regulars Jordan Henderson and Calvin Phillips also drifted out of contention, with United youngster Kabi Mainu making his senior international debut. The midfield thing we've seen, but we've missed two opportunities with September and now this one that is really frustrating because there's so much that's unknown about it at the minute. Southgate continued, As you know, I've liked the idea for a long time but we're going to be trialing it when we haven't seen it in a really high-level game, so we'll just have to see where we can go with it. It's such a specialist position. There's a huge difference between playing at fullback and popping into midfield, and playing in there, starting in there, in and out of position in the game, receiving with your back to goal, so there's a lot to that. We're just going to have to see. In other news, Manchester United appoint designers behind Tottenham Stadium to create new 100,000-seater Old Trafford. Manchester United have appointed Populous, the designers behind Tottenham's new stadium, to design a new 100,000-seater stadium for the Red Devils. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has appointed a task force that includes Lord Sebco and Gary Neville to oversee plans for the future of the stadium and its surrounding area. Untied have two options, either refurbishing their current ground at a cost of around 1 billion or to build a bigger stadium on adjacent land for around 2 billion pounds. Though the second option would require United could easily sell out a capacity of around 95,000 for most matches, and that figure would rise even further for bigger matches, such as last week's FA Cup win against Liverpool. Ratcliffe suggested the capacity of the new stadium would be at least 90,000 and possibly as high as 100,000 in a podcast he did last week. If we build a completely new ground, it would be state-of-the-art, world-class, 90,000 or even 100,000, said Ratcliffe. I think that then provides a platform for some of the big competitions in the north of England. Why shouldn't England play in the north? Why is the FA Cup final always in the south? But the club will wait on the recommendations of the task force, which have more to consider than simply just the stadium. They will be looking at the wider area and the community around Old Trafford, with plans for housing, transport links and hotels. Spurs' new stadium opened in 2019 after three years of building, though the plans were a decade in the making. The cost of Spurs Stadium increased significantly over the course of the plans, with it topping out at around $1.1 billion. However, it is widely considered the best stadium in the Premier League now. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.